What's up, guys? This is Stranded Deep. I used to play this when the first, when the game was first in early access, really, really early on. I loved it. It wasn't quite finished, but I loved it. I loved the graphics. I loved the setting. And I figured, since we're working on survival games at the moment, I might as well add this to the list. But yeah, then we're going to do a little, do a bit of a playthrough of this. I can't remember how to play it exactly, so I will be very, very, very rough on it. But there's a very, from what I understand, there's a very good tutorial in the game now. Very good tutorial. It teaches you all the basics and then some. So, yeah, essentially, uh, hopefully from what you've just seen, I was on a plane. Looked like a private plane in my suit. The plane went down, landed in the sea, and all I've been left with is this raft. It does come with a paddle. As you can see here, paddle. It comes with a sea anchor, so I can put it down in the sea and it doesn't flow away. And it also comes with, you know, uh, three cans of rations, a compass, and a bandage. So there's obviously something that's going to cause me harm. I'm not sure whether you guys caught it when we first landed, but there was a shark in the sea as well. So obviously, you know, if there's water, there's sharks. Uh, and if there's sharks, there's hopefully something, you know, valuable in the sea. So give the video a like if you, you know, if you want to see more. Uh, you want to see more of, of Stranded Deep and other survival games like this, such as Raft, you know, Sons of the Forest. Um, and then obviously any suggestions that you guys have got. But yeah, we're going to jump straight into it. Okay, so from what I can see so far, the game just wants us to collect resources that are on the island. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab as much wood and stone. Because, I mean, in this situation, the worst thing you can do is panic. You know, you're on an unknown island in, let's just say, you know, the Pacific somewhere. You have no idea where you are. You have no idea what's going on or how you're going to get out. The worst thing you can do is panic. So right now we need to just focus. We need to grab some resources and we need to plan ahead. We do have a watch that tells us things like the time, the date, um, UV rays. So how high the UVs are for that day. So I think that's going to affect things like my health, my hunger, my thirst, and obviously my SPF at the bottom there. So health, hunger, first, SPF. I think I can left click for my, yeah, so if I left click, it goes over to my skills page. We've got hunting, cooking, harvesting, physical, and craftsmanship. And at the moment, the only status effect we've got is healthy because we were on that private plane. Oh, we've also got statistics. Days survived, items crafted, animals killed, islands explored, and ships scavenged. This is a new thing. I haven't seen this before, so... Yeah, I don't want to waste too much time. It's 11 a.m. We've got a few hours before the sun goes down. But we absolutely need to prioritize things like uh, cover from the sun, um, a source of water somewhere, uh, and I think most importantly, a fire. Because in situations like this... If, if you're somewhere where it's significantly hot during the day, it's going to be even, you know, equally as cold during the night time. So I'm going to drop all my things on the floor here that we've picked up just to see what we've got. We've got a wooden container. What's in here? We've got a refined hammer, we've got leather, and we've got cloth. We are just going to drop absolutely everything on the floor because from, if I remember correctly, you can actually just, like, use this sort of method to stack stuff. We've got a couple of cloth. We've got leather. Aloe vera, and we've got a refined hammer, which is a refined building tool with good durability required for building, cool, or beating stuff. So I think day one of the adventure, we are gonna make sure the raft's safe. We're gonna, we've got food, and we do need to get a source of water because obviously you can't drink seawater with it being as salty as it is. That's obviously gonna be our first point of call. There's an island there with some trees on, maybe some wreckage on the outside, but that ship wreckage is going to be huge for us, I reckon. What else do we have around here? We also got a little bit, something over here to explore, which I'll check in a second. There's, there are fish, sardine fish, lovely. That's good, it means we've got even more food sources. We've obviously got these trees that I hope you can, you can cut down. If I remember correctly, you can actually get... You can, yeah, look, you can knock down we jump down again oh don't hurt yourself you can take the coconuts from the uh, from the trees so we've got quite a few coconuts here coconut trees loads of them everywhere so we ain't got to worry about we haven't got to worry about food or water before we start a base though uh, i'm going to search this little this little ship here to see what's over here i've got to just keep an eye out for this shark i don't want this shark to be causing me any problems or anything a lot of sardines just get our breath back quick okay there's a box here carry that door open no what else have we got in here 
We can go inside. Just got to keep an eye out. I don't know... Like I said, I don't know what sort of enemies they've implemented into the game. I don't know, you know, I don't know if there's squid or sharks. I mean, I know there's a shark, obviously. But squid or, or you know, smaller things that can hurt us. Can I hit this? I think you have to cut this to, to, to obtain it, if I remember correctly. I think that looks about everything, doesn't it? Off from this top bit. How do we get on this top bit here? There we go. Another refined hammer. Pick that up, carry that with us, because we can use the boxes. Vehicle part, filter part, compass. Oh, we've got loads of stuff already. Well, that'll do for now. Let's just make sure we don't get attacked on the way back. Let's get back as soon as we can. And what we can end up doing, we can start building the very, very basic. So, let's finish the tutorial for now. We've got... That doesn't look good. Oh! What happened? I've been poisoned. Oh, did I run over something? I ran over this, I believe, didn't I? Whatever that is. Moving around as well, little bastard. Okay, so I've been poisoned already. Not a good start. So we'll finish the tutorial for now. Press C to open the crafting menu. We can craft a stone tool. What can we cut down? Yucca trees. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, what's this? A, ku a kuwawa. It's a kuwawa fault. Let's go drop our stuff off. Let's leave the knife there for now. Sticks. We've got rocks. We've got a wooden container. We've got two wooden containers. What are in these? Oh, wow. We're spoiled. We've got a torch. Three torches. <laughs> okay. Duct tape. I know you need engine parts for... I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to spoil it, but... An engine. That's east. From, from the raft, that island there is east. That's how we're going to mark everything. We have a coconut, which we're going to leave on the floor for now. And where's that knife that we dropped? Right, press C to open the crafting menu. There we go. I like the refined knife. Right click to pin to the screen. Craft the refined knife. Brilliant. So then by doing that, we can see that what we need for it is one rope, one stone tool, and five sticks making that rope. And I believe rope is made from yucca, the yucca plant. So if you just, I think if I give this a whack and pick up all the fibrous leaves, which will help with digestion, I think we can now craft a rope. Yeah, look, four, four fibrous leaves uh, makes a lashing. Craft the lashing, craft the refined knife, and now, now we have a knife. Awesome. Kill a crab. You can also press left control to crouch. Skin the crab using a refined knife. Here we've got a crab. Hold F to skin. Oh, it's disgusting. Craft a campfire. Okay, here we go. Right, what are we thinking for the campfire? I'm thinking towards the boat so we can keep an eye on our target. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the campfire, which I believe is in one of these. Let's just say this one. Put that there. So we've made the fire pit, or the fire. We've got the, the kindling. We picked that up. Light the campfire using the kindling. So you just hold F. I think you spam left and right. Nice. Right, and then crab meat. Attach. Goes on a stick, starts cooking. Awesome. We'll leave that there for now. And what I'll show you in the meantime is how you can open coconuts. So that's a drinkable coconut. If I press F, and then equip it. I'll cook you. And then equip it. I'll drink the inside of that. And that should... Okay, it's done a little bit of my thirst. But now if I drop that on the floor, what you can also do is you can you can break this open, I believe. And now we've got two coconut halves. And you can eat these. And then if I check my... Yeah, see how my food's full now? That's obviously what the, the coconut's done. Obviously, you can't eat too much coconut for obvious reasons. You know, it makes you... Um, I believe coconut is a diuretic. So it will really, really, really upset your stomach. Um, eating too much coconut. I'm just going to leave that to cook for now. I don't want it to... I don't want to burn, but... Is that cooked? You know, like, that, that looks cooked to me. I, I'm going to leave it and we'll just eat it burn. For now, cut down a palm tree with an axe and chop the leaves into palm fronds. Okay. So it's asking us to make an axe, right? Crude axe, there we go. A lashing. Two stone tools. Two stone tools, so two rocks. Grab two rocks. Make two of those. And my craftsmanship's gone up. Awesome. 
Well, we've got two stone tools, one stick. We need to make one more lashing, and the lashing's from the yucca plants. Let's go find the yucca plant quick. There we go. How many fibrous leaves do we need? We need four, right? There we go. So then with that, I can... Oh, there's a quick craft. I didn't... If I hold C, I can quick craft. And now we can make a crude axe. Equip the crude axe, and I can chop a tree down. What's the time? How are we looking? 6 p.m. Okay, I reckon we've got about an hour. Or a second. Wow, the sun's just gone. Right, we're going to ch chop down a tree like it's asking us to. We're going to drag this over to the base, I think. It's going to be very dark for you guys. I'm going to try and increase the brightness on OBS so you guys can see it. Um, chop the leaves into palm fronds. Okay, so... Like this. And if I remove the top like this... There we go. Now we've got palm fronds. Craft a shelter so you can sleep and save your progress. Shelter. Three sticks and one more lashing. Three sticks. We do have a torch, don't we? Oh, wow. How cool is that? Right, we've got to find one more yucca, yucca plant. I'm a bit concerned that we're, we're struggling to make um, lashings already. Wow, this music is eerie. That's awesome. Okay, yucca tree. Let's see if this works. Fibrous leaves. Awesome. Okay, so that might grow back. That yucca tree might grow back, hopefully. And now let's head back to base, so to speak. Right, and what we'll do is make one of these. wonder if I can get sticks from logs. I must be able to, right? Nice. I need that latch in that's over here. Shelter. We'll put it right near the fire. Right there. We'll sleep. And we'll save. And the time is 4.30 a.m. I've still got that poisoning. Okay, so whilst I was waiting for the sun to come up, uh, I've chopped down two trees here. Because I need the... I believe I need the frongs. Or the, yeah, the fronds. So I'm going get, to get the frond. I'm going to drop that there. Because in the top left, we need one coconut thing. I'm not sure what that is yet. I need three rocks. I'm going to drop that on top. And that's going to be our list of, you know, what we need. It's a coconut flask. Okay. So one coconut, one lashing. That's what we need. One coconut, one lashing. So two lashings is what we need overall. Because we need one lashing for this as well. There's the coconut. Put that in the crafting pile. And we need a lashing which I don't think we've got the tools for, do we? Or the, the, the resources for. This this game is randomly generated. I've put the map as randomly generated, so we might just get unlucky for a start, but there's definitely going to be one more somewhere. There's no way that's the only... Those are the only two I've got. Oh, I'm sapping around. Let's see if I cut this. Fibrous leaves. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so let's cut a few of these down. I wonder if it will give me fibrous leaves if I cut the fronds. I wonder. Let's test it out. Let's see if we can cut the fronds up. Because if we can, we've got an abundance of them. Can't cut it with that. Can I cut it with a knife? No. Only one or two more. That's all. That's all I need. I might have to want I might have to venture off. There's one. There's another one. No, I still need one more. I need one more. Oh, nice. It was hidden in there. Nice. We need three rocks, which we've got. What is that last item there? What is that? Cloth. I've got cloth. It's not a problem. It's here. And now we can make a water steel. I don't think I've ever built a water steel before. They survived one. Brilliant. Water steel. Let's put that away from the fire a little bit so that we've got a little bit of personality with the base. Put it here. Check the stats. Very low on water. Fill the water still with fibrous leaves or palm fronds. Wow, okay. You can do that. So if I cut these fronds off... Let's just get this log out of the way. If I cut these fronds off... And then grab all of these... What do I do here? Add fiber. 
that just goes there. I'll put the I'll put that there. So they go on the bottom, and one of you are gonna have to explain to me how that works. It looks as though that needs a fire. That being there. Uh, I have no idea how this is working. I thought this was collecting rain. But I'm very wrong now. And then it's filtering through the cloth into the coconut. But what's this here for? The, the fronds. One of you are going to have to tell me how that works. Please, somebody explain how that works in the comments. But now, we're going to make this pile here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down a couple of trees and I'm going to fill that pile up quickly and then I'll bring you guys back because that's going to be very boring to watch. So, I'll be right back. What a miserable day. I'm almost done, guys. I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, so what I did, guys, was I gathered, I gathered up some of the trees from the back of the island, stuck them all in a pile for the ones I haven't cut yet. I hope they don't despawn. I filled up this log pile, with, or wood, pile, wood stick pile, sorry, with 34 wood sticks, and this palm frond pile with 36 of those. I am casually drinking from this. I've got four bars of thirst with a little bit. If I drink one square, I get an extra... I get a full square. So a quarter of this, a quarter of this collector is one square on the uh, on the water meter. That's absolutely plenty because it refills so quickly, which is absolutely awesome. We've got enough food to last us for a while. I think in the next video, I'm going to explore over to that ship and find out what's going on over there. I have no idea what that's all about. So, but I think for now, as an intro to the game, we've got a base down. I showed you a fire. I showed you some of the crafting. I'm going to see how many likes the videos get or the video gets. Sorry. And um, if it's something that, you know, I, I, I feel that you guys want to see, then, you know, I, I'll record more of it. I am playing on permadeath mode, so I will put a clip up quickly of me putting on permadeath, which means one death and the whole save gets deleted. There is no, you know, there is no, I mean, there's no point saving it, but that's just for when I'm logging off. But yeah, as soon as I die, yeah, whether it's to a shark or anything else out there, if there's something bigger out there, you know, whatever I die to, um, if I do end up dying, even if it's from a height or a pig or... A, a crab or a fish or food poisoning the whole world will be deleted so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video so far um, again if you did like it um, subscribe if you want to see some more leave me a comment so I can add you to the turtle list the animation is up so I'll put it um, I'll put it in the I'll put it in at this point I'll put it in at the end thank you very much for all the people that commented on the last video um, again you know it's just it's, it's, it's William it's Mickle it's Megan it's Blank you know, it's Tom. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.